It's all about the game and how you play it. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Fix, the man they call the game, the king of kings, Triple H. Well, before there was a Triple H, before there was a degenerate, there was a fancy gentleman, right? There's something about this guy carrying something in his hand, right? First, it was a sledgehammer. Actually, pretty much the, his entire career was a sledgehammer. But prior to all that, he carried a cane, right? This is the Toys R Us exclusive Hunter Herms Helmsley. And that's what Triple H stands for, right? Hunter Herms Helmsley. Right here, this cane, actually, I, this figure overall, I know he's a shelf warmer. You go to Toys R Us, you're going to actually, I don't know if you can go to Toys R Us anymore. A lot of them have actually closed down. But prior to that, this man was warming up the shelves like it was a hot summer day in winter. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Well, right here. Okay, check out this cane. You look at the cane close enough right here. It does basically look like uh, it's a horse. It's very reminiscent to a horse. The cloth uh, fabric right here that you're seeing right here. This is so fire, man. When I saw them release, when I saw them show images of this upcoming figure, I was like, yes, please. I will definitely take the man they call Hunter. This guy was very fancy. Actually, this character definitely worked well for him. He had the right look for it. Something about his uh, facial expression that he would give to the people, right? He's like, I am better. Better than you but was he though <laughs> I, I will tell you this once you know what I'll, I'll, I'll get into that because that's one thing I definitely want to talk about this man right here I will say this about Triple H right um, and yes, if you didn't see the review, this is an overlook a lot of the figures. We've done a full in-depth review on all of them. So if you're not new to the channel, go give those a watch, right? But one thing I will say, though, is that this man truly was an in-ring general, right? He's not necessarily better than you, but he is a very good wrestler. You attempt to step into the ring, this man will show you a thing or two about what wrestling is all about. And like I said, a lot of these figures did come with the such hammer. This right here, okay, when I saw this uh, mock, when I saw this at Walmart. Actually, I remember this very clearly. Uh, going to Walmart and seeing this figure on the shelf, the first thing that came to mind when I saw him wearing that helmet, it just reminded me of that night that they invaded WCW, right? It was cool. They came in there with the tank. It was, oh my gosh. This, yeah, you can tell this figure hasn't uh, been messed around with for quite a while. It's got some dust. Don't worry. Uh, we'll, we'll get it cleared off. I mean, you can still see you get a good idea of what the head scan. It's almost very similar to that one. Um, I mean, it does have a different smirk, but like the style of the hair right you can actually do a head swap onto that one you could use this head scan on that because he has worn this style of hair on that um attire on hunter arms Helmsley. the shirt right here this is actually the only triple h that comes to mind that has a different uh torso this is the what is it the misdow damian misdow style of torso you know what it does work for the time and era it definitely does because i mean if you remember i mean this triple h yes he's always been big he's always been a big dude but in his earlier years the man was more cut more defined more ripped till this day actually you know what i can't even use that as an example because if you go back and watch some of his recent matches the guy is an incredible shape this right here this is actually the most sought after triple h in the entire collection a lot of these go for dirt cheap you can actually still pick up a lot of these figures on ebay for like under 10 bucks this one right here this one yeah you're gonna have to pay up uh, a good dollar especially complete because this one right here if you remember this one did come with all these extras. This is based. This is from the Defining Moments line. This was based on when he made his return after uh, injury. The shirt right there that you're seeing, it is a cutoff. I'm not going to get crazy. Into, again, we have reviewed this figure. This is actually my third favorite scan from all of the Triple H's that they've made so far. And I'll tell you my top two. There's no doubt that we're going to get into that. The one thing that I will say about this, though, is uh, don't throw this into your, like, your figure bin. You definitely want to have this up on the display. I mean, apart from the fact that you know, you're going to be paying a good dollar. There's something about this blue, it tends to leak. It tends to leak onto the rest of your figure. So whatever kind of dye they used on this figure, and it might be because it's old. I mean, it is an old Triple H figure, but I've had that issue where, uh, you know, when I transported him, yeah, it just, yeah, you're going to have some bad experiences. Next up, this one right here. You know what, let's take a look at it right here. This is the... Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, this is the same one as the Defining Moments. And I'll take off the belt to show you. Actually, you know what? It's perfect. I won't have to take this off. <laughs> this is the Defining Moments Triple H. I did do a head swap onto mine uh, from the Toys R Us exclusive, the Fan Central. Because if you look at this one, see how he's wearing the red? I just really wanted this, this head scan on this attire. This is actually one Triple H. Like, I mean, there has I have seen some customizers make uh, custom attire from this right here. And you know what? I was like, you know what? I'll just do the head swap. I'll do the head swap and eliminate the, the time-consuming issues. Because that's that's one thing about customizing, you guys. If you guys haven't uh, picked up a brush yet, do so. You know what? It's fun. It's definitely a good stress reliever. But you know what? I was like, you know, I'm just going to do a head swap and call it a day. But this, yes, this is my second 
favorite head scan. Actually, I thought this was my uh, my favorite head scan from the Triple H's, but I'm going to show you the one that uh, actually I picked up recently, at least by the time of the filming of the video. It's a big separation from the actual unboxing of the scan that I'll show you here in, a, in just a sec to when you're actually seeing this collection video. Now right here, this is based off uh, 2010. This is another Toys R Us exclusive. A lot of Triple H's actually, yeah, come, come to, now that I really think about it, a lot of them are Toys R Us exclusives. This is... Uh, yeah, this is a really cool Triple H. This actually, this is one of the few that didn't come with like a crazy like, except this one just came with a shirt. This came with the WrestleMania shirt. Um, this one actually is actually the head scan that you, that this one originally came with, the DX. This is from Elite Series 7. I don't know, for me, like, I, I wasn't a fan of this. This is actually a custom head scan. This is a combination of a current Triple H as well as the hair piece from that one. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know, I just... Ah, I, the way that they sculpted the hair on this one, I mean, it does look like Triple H, don't get me wrong, but it just, I, I don't know, I, again, again, I also most likely used the hair piece, I think it was to make a custom Adam Cole, that, that hair piece was perfect for it, this one, um, did come with, what was it, it was a DX shirt, and uh, there was, it was like a baseball cap, yes, it was a baseball cap, I unfortunately bought this loose, this is how I bought it, most of them are complete, that's one thing that you'll see about this collection video, most of them are like 100% complete, this one I don't have complete, so, you know, if anybody knows that, uh, where I can find that shirt and hat, drop it in the comment section, let me know, right here on the attire, the characters that you're seeing right there up front, it's uh, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and I believe Hornswoggle, Hornswoggle had also teamed up with them during this era, and this was such a cool set, man. Like if you complete, if you picked up that uh, that Hornswoggle and Shawn Michaels again, both of those are extremely rare. Those actually, you know what? Apart from that defining moments, that those those three are actually definitely fall in that uh, category as far as the the rare category. Not right here. This is another Toys R Us exclusive. This is the COO Triple H. This is when the man started kind of somewhat stepping away from the ring. I mean, he was still very much active. He was still a very much active superstar, but he had stepped away to kind of to fill in the fill in the shoes for Vinny. <laughs> you know, and here's the thing. Um, Vinny, again, also was, he's still very, to this day, he's still very uh, active backstage. And, you know, talking about Vince McMahon, this actually, I've seen a lot of people use this style, this suited body right here to make like a custom uh, Vince McMahon, and it does work well. I actually have already done the swap. I actually, I put most of the parts, the original parts that came with these figures on the Triple H's just to kind of make it educational. But you know what? Just because it's ed educational doesn't mean it can't be fun, right? <laughs> And this head scan, this is definitely fun. All right, so he didn't wear this uh, when he, okay, it did come with the figure, but it was actually, it was, oh gosh, I think it was like 10. There was a lot of his minions that had uh, worn this during the entrance. So when he was coming down, he had a bunch of guys dressed up with this style of helmet. Such a cool accessory, man. I mean, you can put it on your Triple H. It does fit on, actually, it fits on a lot of the figures. Um Oh, I did have this in my, I think it was in, in the crowd, in my WWE figure crowd. But, yeah, this is such a cool, ex look at this, you guys. I mean, they didn't just do, like, the actual look of the skull up front, but they added, like, all of these cracks. And there it goes. <laughs> there it is, you guys, don't worry. And then on the back, and for some reason, if the head skin on the figure that you're putting this on is way too big, it does have, like, a small, like, gap right here. So, I mean, if the head, yeah, it'll just widen up. You see how it kind of widens up when it goes in there? And there you go. Really cool, man. Not much to see the entire, uh, there is a little bit redder on the knee pads yeah that's one thing triple h lacked man like this guy had epic like he had awesome entrance attires elite series 35 definitely being a prime example such an epic entrance attire but the in ring dude he's just like i don't know man i'm good with my black trunks and you know i'm good to go <laughs> You know, you don't need that much to wrestle right the one thing that comes to mind when you, when i see this attire uh believe it or not so as you know, a lot of the times that he does his WrestleMania appearances, he has a lot of like, you know, people around him. Some of the people that actually were around him weren't superstars at the time. It was like Charlotte, uh, what was it? Uh, there was Charlotte, uh, the boss. And there was a third one. Someone drop it in the comment section. But they had dressed up as like his, uh, not minions, but, you know, like the people that surround him like during his actual en entrance attire. And this one right here, this is sick, man. This is actually, when it comes to like actual entrance attires, this was one of my favorites, at least in figure form. Something about this gold, something about this gold on the red. 
It just looks incredible, dude. Like, on the back, too, man. Like, they just, they went all out with it. Like, all these chains right here, the sculpt is just right. It's accurate. The helmet right here, it is removable. You can take this off. This actually came with two figures. It came with uh, this one and another one. There's another one in the collection that um, I'm, I'm going to get into here, and I'll show you uh, as to which one actually came with. Next up, you guys, we have another. This, this one came from a two-pack. This one was with Daniel Bryan. It was a Daniel Bryan two-pack. Um... The reason why I wanted this is because, like, of course, right, Triple H. Uh, this this is cool. All right, this was actually, and I could be wrong, but this is one of the first times that they had put an Elite into a, a battle pack. Uh, this one does have full Elite articulation. You can't see it from, like, the you know, with the coat on, the, you know, the nice dress jacket on it. But it actually, right underneath there, it does have the ab crunch. It does have, like, the where you can, you know, put the legs out, forward. You get the uh, the upper thigh swivel, like, a lot about this figure. Yeah, it was a basic battle pack, but you got full-on Elite articulation with this figure. So, really awesome. I mean, they have done it with, like, in uh, basics. Like, for example, the COO. I think this was a mail away. This one also did have articulation, but it came in uh, basic packaging. Such a cool figure. Next up, this one right here. All right, now, you know what? I'm going to show you this one because uh, these two actually had the same style of helmet. This was the best of pay-per-views. And I know when we did the unboxing, I got crazy into the uh, review on this. It's just a really great figure, you guys. This one the, for the entrance jacket, yeah, they're rubber, but here's the thing. The reason why, and this is what Bill said, the reason why he made some of these rubber was because, like, the amount of detail that is involved with these entrance jackets, you can't necessarily execute that with fabric. So I get that, you know, and uh, the helmet right here that you're seeing right here, um, you know what? I think, yes, I'm pretty sure uh, this one was, yeah, because I'll have to find it in my file. I couldn't find it for the collection, so my apologies, you guys, but I'll show you uh, what it looks like with that on right there. Now, this is the favorite head scan and this is ranked number one because remember I told you in the beginning of the video I said that I was going to tell you what number one number two and number three we've already gone over two and three but this is number one for sure I love this you guys this is ranked at least a solid 13 out of 10 for me this triple H and again if you didn't see the unboxing video for this go check it out it is on the channel such an epic triple H attire this is what the attire looks like again very similar. He's got that same style of like helmet that he wears on his attire, on his actual in-ring attire, but on his trunks. Now, next up, you guys, this one right here. Yeah, I do have it in the fodder bin. Um, again, this is the same one that came with uh, best of pay-per-views. I believe there was a Build-A-Figure involved, but this is kind of like a Terminator. You know what? No, it wasn't. Uh, come to think of it, the it, it, this was this wasn't the style of helmet. I can't even utilize this as an, as an example. Um, I'll find it <laughs> if I if I find it. I'll update it on my Instagram. I'll post some pictures on there. But it was more of a Terminator style helmet. Yes, it was like Terminator style. It had this little red dot. I know my guy Chase Burnout. He did a complete like fix up on this. It was cool. Like there's a lot of stuff like paint deco that they missed on this entire like especially right here uh, centered in the middle. There was a lot that they missed right here in the front. But yeah, Burnout Chase, he did all the stuff, not just on like this shoulder piece that you're seeing, but also on the actual helmet itself. I got to find that helmet piece now. <laughs> now, next up, this is uh, Elite Series 2. This is going dating back to the beginning of Mattel's history, right? This is from the very, very beginning. And it is using the same scan that we saw. I think it was in Elite Series 7, the DX. Again, not my favorite, but again, definitely a must. Extremely rare. Um, you can, I mean, if, if he does pop up on eBay, you can still find him for a reasonable price. I think $20 is the max that you should spend on. Now, this last one right here, I haven't gotten this out of the package. Um, I wanted to keep at least one mock just to kind of have that. Because that's one thing about uh, I love about collecting thing is like when you put a mock figure behind the rest of your loose figures it just gives it a little a little extra this is the Walgreens exclusive they are starting to fade away I mean they were shelf warming for quite a while but now yeah they're definitely dissipating it you're not going to find this most likely in like six months from now this one will be the only way you'll find them will be on eBay so that I don't know apart from the rare factor I just again I love keeping one mock and the rest loose hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one